In today's quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to define multiple stocks for use in verification or simulation in MasterCam, in this case 2024, although this process will apply to basically anything made in the past decade at least. And the idea here is that I have multiple vices set up and I'm going to be making five of these parts at a time. So I just made up a simple part to demonstrate here. You can see the part right there. I'm going to get not translucent anymore. And we have five stocks set up in our vise, and we have some vices right there on level 100. Now, I was really excited when 2023 came out, 2024, because what I was hoping to do was leverage this new machine group setup to let me choose uh, multiple master models and multiple stocks and use that in verification. I think a lot of people were really expecting that. So, for example, in the uh, master model, which is basically your target model, what are you trying to hit? Um, you know, you could select either by level or individual selection. You could add all those in and they show up. Cool, we know that. Going to stock, however, you do not have that option to select by level. So if you go and select individual um, solids, you think that they're being used, but only one at a time. Whichever one is right click set as active stock, is being used, which is a little disappointing. Going down to the fixture setup or the work holding setup, you can again choose from a level or you can choose from entities. So I just chose my level right here. But you'll see if you come into here and let's take this very first toolpath. I'm going to turn off my stock for just a moment. And you see, I just put a very simple dynamic toolpath on to rough this all out. And then I transformed it down by the spacing of devices. So if you verify these, move info here and you'll see that you only actually get the one piece of stock that was set up as active which is of course not what we want you can display the work pieces correctly though which is you know that's nice but doesn't help us verifying multiple stocks in multiple positions especially if you had these set up with you know op one here op two here op three here op four whatever all the way down so i'm going to show you how to set that up and to do that, we're going to define a stock model. So this stock model, I'm going to give mine a name, 000 initial stock. And I'm going to turn off the stock plane adjustment. I don't need any of that. And let's just go model. I'm going to choose everything on my level number two. So I'm going to use the select entities by level and double click on number two. There we go. Good. And I don't need to adjust my source operations. I'm not generating any of these toolpaths. I just literally want these five blocks. So I'm going to hit OK. All right. Now I can turn off level number two. And because I have my system right now set to only display selected operations, you'll see that if I have my stock model selected, I get all of those. So what's nice is I could come in here and go to stock setup and you know, go back through and reselect my stock model, or I'm gonna move my stock model before these operations. And when I go into verification, I'm just gonna make sure that all of these are selected. You'll notice the little green check has all of these toolpaths selected. One of the nice things in MasterCam 2024 is that it's smart enough to recognize, oh, you must want to verify against that stock model. So as long as that's the first one in your chain, you're gonna use that when you hit verify. All right, there we go. Now we have stocks all the way across and we can zip through. Just gonna increase my playback speed and there you are. That's it. That's your uh, quick tip for today.